Well, good morning, everyone. Here we are. It's the last day of our sixth week of virtual preschool. Let's figure out what day it is. So the last day of school we had was, yes, Wednesday, and then Thursday, which was a threes class day. So today is Friday. Good job. So we're going to put the frog on Friday. Oh, and I just remembered, I forgot to ask you if you notice anything different today. Do you see like a little black dot on my shirt? Yeah, that's a microphone. That is new and hopefully that will make it so that you all can hear me better. So you'll have to let me know how that goes. All right, let's keep going with the calendar. What is the name of our month? And it's almost over. Remember, we only have a couple days left. Yeah, October. So let's go ahead and count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 25, 26, 27, 28, what's next? 29, yes, and that was yesterday, which was a threes class day. Oh, we gotta figure out what picture. Pumpkin, apple, pumpkin, apple, pumpkin, yes. All right, so there's a pumpkin with a 29. And we have one more day, so 27, 28, 29, this one's tricky. Who knows what comes after 29? 30. Mm-hmm. So we have pumpkin, apple, pumpkin, apple, pumpkin, apple. Yes. So a number 30 on an apple. And who remembers, what did I say this day was going to be? Yeah, Halloween. So that means that's tomorrow. Tomorrow is Halloween, it's so exciting. All right, so let's say the date here. Today is Friday, October 30th, and tomorrow is Halloween. It's very exciting. Okay, let's look at the weather. So everyone needs to look out the window and see what the weather is like at their house. So, is it windy? Is it foggy? Is it stormy? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it partly cloudy? Is it snowy? Or is it rainy? And remember, there can be more than one of those kinds of weather in each day. Now we need to figure out what the temperature is like outside. What does it feel like? So you'll need to kind of step out the door to feel this, to feel what it's like. Does it feel hot? Does it feel cold? Does it feel warm? Or does it feel cool? All right, so you'll have to figure that out, what the weather is like and the temperature is like at your house. All right, so we have been talking all about spiders this week, right? And spiders, a lot of times we see them a lot, like pretend spiders and pretend spider webs at Halloween, right? Because people use them as decorations, because people kind of sometimes think spiders are a little spooky. And remember that book we read the other day called I'm Trying to Love Spiders? Yeah, and it talked all about different spider facts and things and how spiders really are cool even though sometimes we might be a little afraid of them. Well today I have a book that is kind of like it's it's a story all right it's kind of like a fable from another country and so it really doesn't talk anything about spider facts or anything about spiders but it is a story with spiders in it. The spiders are the characters. 
So let's see what book this is. Oh, this one's a sideways book too. I didn't even realize. So we have to turn the mystery envelope sideways again. What is it with spider books and having to be sideways? So let's pull out our book. Mmm. Aha. So I see lots of red and black on the front of this. This book is called Anansi the Spider. And it is a tale from the Ashanti, which is a in, Af Africa, in Africa. All right, so Anansi the Spider. Let's see what this is about. Anansi, he is spider to the Ashanti people. In Ashanti land, people love this story of Kwaku Asansi, or excuse me, Anansi. Time was Anansi had six sons. So this is Anansi. First son was called Sea Trouble. She had the gift, or he had the gift of seeing trouble a long way off. Second son was Road Builder. Thirsty son was River Drinker. Next son was Game Skinner. Another son was Stone Thrower. And last of sons was Cushion. He was very soft. And all were good sons of Anansi. You can see each of them have a, their own symbol on their belly, looks like. One time, Anansi went a long way from home. Far from home, he got lost. He fell into trouble. What is going on? It looks like Anansi is getting eaten by a fish in the ocean. Back home was son, see trouble. Father is in danger, he cried. He knew it quickly and he told those other sons. Road builder son said, follow me. Off he went, making a road. They went fast, those six brothers, gone to help Anansi. Where is father now? Remember, this fish swallowed Anansi up. So here come his six sons, though. Fish has swallowed him. Anansi is inside fish. River drinker, there's the river drinker, took a big drink. No more river. Then Game Skinner helped Father Anansi. He split open fish. Oh, there's Anansi inside the fish. More trouble came right then. Oh dear. It was Falcon took Anansi up in the sky. There's Anansi. Quick now, stone thrower. The stone hit Falcon and Anansi fell through the sky. There's Anansi. Now Cushion ran to help father. Very soft, Anansi came down. See, Anansi landed on his son Cushion, who was very soft and squishy. They were very happy, that spider family. All home again that night, Kwaku Anansi found a thing in the forest. What is this? A great globe of light? Oh, mysterious and beautiful, I shall give this to my son, said Anansi, the son who rescued me. But which son of six? Which deserves the prize? Oh. 
Naim, can you help me? Oh, Naim, called Naya, Na uh, Anansi. For Ashanti people, Naim is the god of all things. So there's Naim. Anansi asked of Naim, Please hold the beautiful globe of light until I know which son should have it for his own. So there's the globe of light. There's Anansi and the six sons. And Naim is holding the globe of light until Anansi can decide which of his sons should get it. So they tried to decide which son deserved the prize. They tried, but they could not decide. They argued all night. Naim saw this. The god of all things, he took the beautiful white light up into the sky. He keeps it there for all to see. It is still there. It will always be there. It is there tonight. So what is that? What was that ball of light that Naim was holding that he put up in the sky? Yeah, it was the moon. All right. So that is the end of Anansi the spider. It's a pretty good story. All right. Let me show you what new work we have for today. In your packet, you have a spider web game. All right. Kind of looks like this. It's got this page, gives some directions, and then you have two different spider webs. This spider web is just for counting. This spider web is for adding. All right. So I'm going to show you two different ways to play this game. You need for the first web for just the counting one, you need one die. All right. And you're going to roll. Oh, and then you also need some kind of things to cover up some spaces. So like some game pieces or some little tiny erasers or something small that you can cover up these little circles with, with the numbers. All right. So you're going to shake your die and drop it. And then you're going to count how many dots. So this one says one, two, three, four. So I'm going to find a four on here. Oopsie, got two there. And I'm going to cover it up with one of my little game pieces. All right, I'm going to go again. Oh, this time I got five. So I'm going to get a game piece and cover up one of the number fives. All right. So then you will keep going until you cover up all the numbers. All right. So I'm going to put those game pieces back and I'm going to show you how to do the adding one. So the other one is, you'll see it has bigger numbers on it. So for this one, you need two die and those same game pieces. All right. So this time you're going to roll two die, shake them, roll them. So one of mine has four and one of mine has six. So I'm going to count those all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So four plus six is ten. So I'm going to get a game piece and cover up a number ten over here. All right. I'm going to do it again. Roll both my dice. This time I got a three and a two. So I'm going to count them together. One, two, three, four, five. So three plus two is five. So I'm going to cover up a five on here. All right. And I'll keep going until I've covered up all the numbers. All right. So there we go. So that is how you play that game. I'm going to put that down here. And then we also have a rhyming game today. So this is called, you have a little paper like this. It says, I'm a hungry spider. And it kind of goes to the tune of I'm a little teapot. Then you also have these little ovals that are different colors. All right. So a different color on each one. And you also have two extra. So if you want to add a couple colors, you can. All right. So this is a rhyming game. This is how it goes. So I'm going to pick a color. So it goes, I'm a hungry spider in my web looking for treats that rhyme with. What color is that? Green. Yes. Rhyme with green. Can you find me a tasty treat? Put it in my web. Let's 
eat. Oh, I forgot part, I'm sorry, I forgot part of this. So for part of this, you're gonna wanna make a web somehow. So you can draw it on a piece of paper, you can use tape on the floor and make a web, you could go outside and draw a web on the sidewalk or on the driveway, all right? So then when you get to the part about, can you find me a tasty treat, put it in my web, let's eat. You're gonna go find something in your house that rhymes with green and you're gonna bring it back and put it on that web that you made, all right? Whether you drew it on a piece of paper or if you put it uh, on the floor with tape or outside with chalk, you're gonna find something that rhymes with green, all right? I'm trying to think, what could rhyme with green in our house? Uh, bean. Ah, so you could go find some, a can of beans or some frozen beans from the freezer or some dry beans and those rhyme with a green, bean and green. So you'll bring that thing, put it in the spider web. All right, so you can keep going with that, finding things that rhyme with each color, each oval color, all right? So that is what I have for you today. Tomorrow is Halloween, so I hope you, hope you all have a great time, all right? And I've seen some of your costumes already during small group time, that's great. If you're gonna come for packet pickup today, you could also wear your costume to show me if you haven't yet. It's up to your mom and dad, though. Let me ask them first, all right? But if I haven't seen your costume yet, you could totally wear it to packet pickup today, and I would love to see it, all right? So I hope you all have a great Halloween and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all again next week. Bye everyone.